So I'm just in the middle of doing a review of this TRX4 High Trail. And this is the first brand new RTR TRX4 I've ever reviewed, in fact. Anyway, I thought this was a great opportunity to show you that the FMS K5, their FCX10, contrary to popular belief, it's not a copy of the TRX4. People are always like really quick to jump on. Oh, it's a clone, it's a rip off. They've just copied this, that and the other, not just with like crawlers, but with a lot of stuff. Now, before I show you the differences between these two, um, in the two wheel drive buggy world, if you look at all the current two wheel drive buggies that are associated, the Yakomo, Schumacher, X-Ray, if you look at all them, there's not much difference between them. They all look very similar. And you rarely see people shouting clone at one another because, well, people that race kind of know that they're similar because it's just how it is. And it's the same with crawlers. Now, yes, there are some complete TRX4 clones out there where you can literally swap parts over and they fit. But I want to defend FMS in this video because this, as you'll see in a minute, it's not like that other than some of the features it's got on it. And I've even seen some of the more popular YouTubers call this a TRX4 copy or clone, which if they looked a little bit closer at it, which is what I'm going to do today and share to you, they're 100% wrong. So what I'm going to do, we're going to put them side by side. I'm going to put a little counter in this corner for everything different between the two. However, I'm not going to include the bodies because, well, a body's a body, isn't it? I think this may be an earlier K5 Blazer. I'm not up on my uh, Chevys, so I wouldn't know. This one, I've done all this sat in black. It all comes chrome out of the box. So I'll get rid of the bodies before we do the comparison. Both of them are clipless bodies. And although we're not comparing the actual body styles, we are going to start the counter with the clipless body system. That's your TRX4. That's your FMS clips in the front there. TRX4 clips in on its inner arches. That is the only thing we're going to do with that though. Where's Peter Pointer? There he is. We'll start right at the front. Bumper mount. TRX4 has got a place for the battery there. Nothing on this one. Chassis mounted servo. Axle mounted servo. The inner fender or inner arch design with holes for rock lights. Completely different. Chassis bracing across there, completely different. Oh, hang on, 21 turn 550 motor, 21 turn 550 motor. Copy, copy, clone. <laughs> I saw someone mention that even this covers the same. TRX4, FMS, completely different. Side steps, side steps. Yes, they've got a ridge in that you can put the body, same as this. However, that's not a new thing. Loads of stuff has the body securing bit in the sides. Receiver box pretty much takes up that whole side on the TRX4. No receiver box this side because this has got a two-in-one ESC there. What we do have though is the remote locking diff servos. That's how they're mounted. Remote locking diff servos. That's how they're mounted. Battery tray battery tray. ESC and your two-speed uh, selector servo. Obviously no ESC this side as we've mentioned. And on this side you've got a two-speed gearbox selector and you've got a dig function. This doesn't have dig, this does have dig which means the gearboxes are also different. Let's move underneath. Well before we do that let's just quickly look at the wheels. So these are the wheels, these are the high trails so slightly different, big canyon tyres. Um, these are trail wheels that I've put on but these are the stock wheels and the stock tyres. Again, can't really compare the tyres and wheels because they change depending on what model you've got. So underneath, something else I heard mentioned was it's even got the same axle housings. No, it hasn't. They're completely different. There's your FMS one. There's your TRX4 one. They even look completely different from the top. There's your portal axle. There's your like half shafts or drive shafts in there. You can see they go right into the portal. Here's the FMS. You can see that they stick out of the portal like that. Completely different design. These portals bolt onto the bottom of the axle housing. These ones bolt within the axle housing. Three links set up with panard bar, four links set up without a panard bar, uh, four link on the rear, and this one's also got four link on the rear. There's your skid plate on the FMS. Just take a note of how wide um, these are. Then if we go to this one, they're a lot narrower, completely different design. Drive shafts look similar. But again, normal telescopic drive shafts, can't really do much about them. I'm sure some of you by now or you've already been going, oh, stop crying about it. I'm not crying about it. I'm just showing you the differences so you can physically see. I know that it's not a copy. I'm showing you. Remote locking system goes like into the axle. The FMS ones have got an arm that moves. I'm not sure there's anything else really of significance to show you. 
I wasn't counting in my head, so I don't know how many things we picked up. Uh, but there's more differences as well. That's just the main ones. The FMS comes with lights already fitted. You've got these like, I don't want to say cordless, but it connects the chassis with these magnets. So when you put the body on, it's a little bit fiddlier than the TRX4. But when you put the body on, it connects all the lights up. Really nice little feature. For the TRX4, you have to pay quite a bit extra for them lights. The body on this is like, a, I don't even know whether it's Lexan, but it's a really thick um, body. I did have some issues with cracking on one of my other ones. Um, it got damaged in uh, shipping and then I rolled it on some rocks and got a little crack in it. It's maybe a little bit more fragile. The Traxxas is just a normal, like thin Lexan. Although there's no interior in this, it does have semi-clear windows rather than just completely blacked out with stickers. You've got some nice scale metal badges. You've got that dig function on here as well, which the TRX4 doesn't have. I use it quite a bit in my um, first review of this. And something I haven't spoke about is the cost. Now, like I said, I'm just in the middle of doing a review of this. And it's actually a really good truck. This video isn't about trying to tell you this is a load of rubbish, because it's not, it's really good. This cost me 500 and I think it was 550 pound in the UK. And I'll put on the screen what that converts to in dollars. Now I know you guys in America can get them a bit cheaper, but if you were to come over to the UK to buy one, you were to bring your dollars over to buy one, that's how many dollars you'd need to get this. And this comes in at $399. Guys, if you want a chance to win this actual truck with the Trill wheels, the RC four wheel drive tires. I've actually got some upgrades coming for this. If they're here before I finish doing this video, um, I'll show them, but metal black bumpers front and rear, and also some guards for the locking diff mechanism. Limited tickets on this one, uh, and there's a link in the description. Something I forgot to mention is these also come with an 11 channel remote. And after taking this one out for a run, I think these things are so cool. I took this thing out on the mud, the rocks, a bit of trailing, and it did not disappoint. The dig function's a super cool feature on it. And even with a stock wheel and tire set up, it performed. But I'm gonna leave you a little clip of this with a simple wheel and tire change that made a huge difference. Oh, and let's not forget the purpose of this video. Uh, these are not a TRX4 clone. What's that? Terribly glittery. Well, oh, oh. So good news, the upgrades are here. Some nice metal bumpers, which is good because they are black. Because my concern was I painted these. In fact, could you see there where I'd scraped some rocks and it took some of the paint off. And um, these as well, actually, look, you can put some shackles directly onto the uh, bumper. That is nice. Are they the same? Have they sent me two front ones or two rear ones or are they just the same anyway? I don't know. I'm gonna have to check. Yep, that is two front bumpers. The rear one, it's um, slightly different. The that's recessed a bit deeper, and it's got and it's got a bit for a um, tow hitch. So I'll have to get a rear bumper, but we can get the front one on. Then we've got these brackets here, which are to oh, they're brass. They're a bit of extra weight there. These are these are guards for the diff locking mechanism. Although I didn't have any issues with it catching on the rocks, but but I suppose potentially there could be some issues. Get it all fitted.
bumper on, guards on. They do actually cover, look. They do completely protect that arm, but you've still got access to all the hardware through there. So like I said, if you want a chance to win this truck, there's a link in the description. You're gonna be getting this actual truck with the little upgrades I just fitted and the trill wheels and the RC four wheel drive tires. I'll also include the stock wheels and tires. You can have my painted bumper. Uh, the rear bumper, I don't know whether the metal one will be here in time for the end of this competition, but I will forward that onto the winner. And one final thing before I get this all boxed up and ready to go. Not a TRX4 copy. Got it.